Okay, this is part four of my SketchUp um, number three tutorial, which is the um, 600V style of modeling. As you can see, I've gone ahead and done quite a bit of work to the wheels and added some uh, details uh, in the uh, diff area here. Added a bit of a drop tank. So what I'll do is uh, just I'll um, I'll just start work on the rear end of the car actually and from here on in it's the way I sort of go about things for adding detail is all about intersecting um, the faces so what I'll do is I'll, I'll draw some sort of um, like box like this then I'll maybe put a design or something on it so I might um, put a bit of an arc here or something like this and we'll just see if we can that'll do. Now I'm going to push that away and I'll, I'll push it just a little bit there so there's a bit left there and I'll select this and I'll round corner that and I may even just round corner this one as well. Hopefully I'll cover round cornering in another tutorial if I can be bothered. So I'll right click and make that a group. Now I'm going to grab the midsection of that and just pop it sort of roughly around here following this middle edge. And I'm going to uh, intersect this. So I'm just going to scale it so it's a little bit wider. And that's how I'm going to intersect this. So what I'm going to do is right click on that and explode it while shift clicking these other faces and then right clicking and intersecting the face with selection. So once they're uh, once they've been interfaced it's a matter of just cleaning up that geometry again. So I'll just delete all these things here and delete this line in here. And what do we have here? This one. Uh, actually, I'm going to just double click on this. You might be able to hear my dogs panting. They're giving me the shits at the moment. erase that last bit but there we go so I've sort of see you can see I've made an indent in there and and I might put some details in that and and smooth some things out but effectively from here on in it's just using your imagination and and doing things such as rectangles and uh, using your arc tool and half circling things like this uh, maybe pushing it in a little bit, erasing that middle section. So you get the idea of uh, you know how you add detail. It's all about intersecting. Doing the doors and windows, the same sort of thing. You'll use a cube and you'll intersect in that general area and then you even shrink that cube, uh, uh, scale it slightly smaller and intersect it again and then delete the intersection and you'll then be able to sort of yeah play with your doors that way um, I might include a tutorial on that down the track but um, yeah that's pretty much it from now on in it's just the hard slog um, putting in the detail and uh, I'll obviously post this model when I finished it on DeviantArt and, and we'll go from there so thanks very much